So we got the gate aster installed. It's beautifully put into our gearbox. Now we need to handle the programming for it. Hi, channel host Marshmallow. And in this video, we're gonna do just that. We're gonna hop into the gate control station and take a nice overview of the options that it has to offer, even in the basic edition. So stick around. Recently, I just went over the uh, Gate Aster uh, software that you could do on the computer. But they also have an app that you can download on your phone. And right here, this is uh, the app for that Gate uh, USB link. Now, this is helpful if you're in the field or in a location where having your laptop on you isn't really uh, feasible. Or even if you're at your chrono station and you'd have to make an adjustment. So from here, you can see what phone you're operating on and um, with the little thing you can connect into USB and it's going to ask to have permission you hit OK and it will go ahead and connect and now you have your serial and from here then you go ahead and connect to your USB link and it's telling me a beta version is uh, detected and we're using the best one here's where you get the option here you can hit this upgrade button and there's your advanced and your basic to experts and so forth. Here you can compare editions and the check marks are showing what the um, different things can do. So uh, I'll just go ahead and scroll through this real quick and let everyone see what it is that you can actually do with the different um, versions. Okay, so that gives you a good brief overview of them. And the top left is where these three bars, that's where you hit that, and this is where it gives you your um, settings. Now before we continue on that, if you're new to the channel, uh, please hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like. Uh, leave your comments for sure. I, I appreciate the feedback. And if you know someone that could find this information useful to them, feel free to share with them as well. Uh, without further ado, let's get right back into it. When you click on them, it's a little different than the computer, but it still has basically what we're looking for. So your uh, cycle detection, if you want on or off, your firing positions, whether you want binary and auto, semi-semi, semi-burst, uh, your battery protection, and uh, so forth. Even your pre-cocking, this is where you can uh, set this if where uh, you're into um, the field and you're finding that it's actually not as of a sensitivity as you wanted you can change that down to whatever setting that you needed um, whoop, turn that off there we go so that's back to off and of course your rate of fire you can turn that on again and can change this percentage to what you need now the phone is a little bit more limited but uh, you can set that as well I'll put this back into off and safety limit, your active brake, put this into there, and vibrations and notifications, and your magazine uh, simulation. So there's those. Come back here again, now we have the sensors. So if you need to adjust your uh, trigger sensor, you're having some issues with it and whatnot, and you're noticing that maybe it was not where you wanted it to be, or whatever the case may be, here's where you can go ahead and change those numbers to fine-tune it to where you want it. Or if you decided you wanted to go to a two-stage instead of a one-stage. Now it will tell you that the um, values that I have for my uh, trigger are set low, and I should probably set them higher to uh, do that. But um, Nonetheless, you are able to do that. Same with your uh, fire selector. If you're having issues where for some reason it got bumped around and you're having problems, you can calibrate that. Uh, the same thing with seeing if your uh, gear is working. 
So it is possible to do that through the app here. And of course your statistics here, and then finally uh, your diagnostics here if, you're getting, if you get some type of error and you're not sure why, whether it's out in the field or something and you don't have your laptop, at least you could come here on your, your cell phone and get a pretty good uh, view of what's going on. So I just wanted to do that follow-up real quick and show you that the um, app on your phone is, in my opinion, I think it's a little bit easier to use, but it's still an option nonetheless. So just wanted to do that. See you guys soon.